Hello, in today's video we're going to talk about the reversal of the sun's poles that will occur in 2024, and the impact this reversal is expected to have on our lives during the year. We begin the video by informing that at this moment, specifically at the beginning of March 2024, the sun is particularly active, releasing powerful solar flares and causing some radio blackouts on Earth, thus being the first consequence of the reversal process. Just like the Sun and Earth, several stars and planets have magnetic fields, and these magnetic fields are not stable. They are cyclical and continue to change depending on peak solar cycles. According to NASA, the Sun's magnetic fields are generated from the hot and ionized gases that constantly flow within its core, generating electric currents and consequently, the magnetic fields that are the byproduct of these intense flow electric currents, called by scientists dynamo. According to NASA, the dynamo reorganizes itself at the peak of each solar cycle, which can last from 8 to 14 years. During solar minimum, when sunspot activity is at its minimum, one pole is positively charged and the other negatively. Invariably, these solar polar magnetic fields begin to weaken until they reach zero, immediately starting to strengthen again with the opposite polarity in a constant cycle, altering the solar magnetic structure that is dipolar during the solar minimum where the open flow extends mainly from the polar regions to interplanetary space and begins to change along this constant cycle. During the maximum, a complex structure is formed with active regions of low latitude and weakened polar fields, resulting in scattered open field regions. So, where are we in the cycle? Currently, solar activity is increasing, with the next solar maximum predicted to be sometime by October 2024. However, several scientists believe to have a more accurate prediction by observing what they call terminator events. These scientists observe magnetic donuts that form at 55 degrees latitude in both hemispheres of the Sun. These formations migrate towards the equator where they meet and cancel each other out, which is called the terminator hail cycle. This terminator event tends to occur up to two years after the minimum, and by focusing on these events, scientists believe they can make better predictions about solar cycles. By measuring the duration of a cycle, not from minimum to minimum, but from terminator to terminator, it is possible to perceive a strong linear relationship between how long a cycle lasts and what the intensity of the next one will be. It was using these methods that they predicted the reversal of magnetic fields this year, a few months before the solar maximum. This solar activity that increases and decreases in an 11-year cycle is also known as the Schwab cycle. The name given to the cycle refers to the German amateur astronomer Heinrich Schwab who, between 1826 and 1843, discovered that the Sun rotates on its axis every 27 days. He realized that over 11 years the Sun went from quiet periods where sunspots were not visible to the maximum phase, where 20 or more groups of sunspots could be seen. Just to make a comparison, the magnetic poles of the Sun consistently change every 11 years while the magnetic poles of the Earth frequently change every 10,000 years. And what would be the dangers of this reversal of the Sun's magnetic poles? One day, I will still make a video about the reversal of Earth's poles, but before discussing the dangers and opportunities of this solar magnetic reversal, I need to ask you to click the like button. When you click like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, you allow the channel to become viable, allowing me to invest more time in the quality of the texts and video editing. Only then can the channel's videos become better and better. So, comment on what you thought of this video and compare it with older videos on the channel. But also don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. But let's get to the risks now. Reversals of the sun's magnetic poles usually bring more intense solar storms, which can cause disruptions in satellites, communications, and GPS in space as well as disable parts of the power grid. On the other hand, the occurrence of the polar inversion on the Sun can offer us the opportunity to visualize some lower-latitude auroras borealis. Auroras borealis are usually located between 60 degrees and 75 degrees of latitude, but during the last magnetic pole reversal in 2013, intense auroras were recorded below 50 degrees. These sunspots are caused precisely by changes in the Sun's magnetic field as the Sun's equator spins faster than the poles. NASA explains that the Sun's magnetic fields rise through the convection zone and burst through the photosphere into the chromosphere and corona. Thus eruptions lead to solar activity, which includes phenomena such as sunspots, flares, prominences, and coronal mass ejections. And after the reversal of the magnetic poles in 2024, what will change? 
As mentioned earlier, the reversal of the sun's magnetic poles will cause intense solar storms. These storms, in turn, can open up Earth's magnetic field and allow much more energy and mass to enter. And when that happens we may see a wide variety of impacts, from influences on space weather that can be challenging for astronauts, to disruptions in electrical power on Earth, which can be very dangerous for satellite systems. However, the National Solar Observatory reported that there is no need to panic, and the consistent polar reversals of the Sun are evidence that our star is functioning as expected by scientists. So, although the reversal of the Sun's magnetic poles may initially seem apocalyptic, now you know that it is just a cyclic and natural way through which the Sun reorganizes itself in an 11-year cycle, where the Sun's poles have been reversing since long before any human was born on Earth. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and next time you hear about the reversal of the Sun's poles, you can tell your friends and relatives that everyone can relax, after all, it's just a natural cyclical movement. Before I finish, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And until next time.